Hello everyone. I wanted to make a video that basically goes over the entire uh, DIY process to make this uh, the rear section of the race car. A couple months back I shared a video uh, that basically goes, it's a stop motion type video that goes over the very intricate details of building the entire race car. But this video will mainly focus on the rear section. Uh, also, I shared a video on a couple social media platforms uh, of my son building the engine and it went viral twice. And the number one question I get is, basically how to DIY something like this. So in this video, I'm mainly gonna be focusing and explaining what I actually did. Um, and I will share some clips from the stop motion video that I already have on my, on my channel that goes into uh, a little bit more details of how the, the frame and how the specifics of the actual rear uh, section was built. But basically the headrest part <clears throat> is just basically uh, Insulation material that I got at Home Depot. I got like the 24 by 24 inch uh, sheet, probably like six dollars or something. Uh, the white material that you see here is basically just uh, PVC uh, sheet, like a wall panel kind of thing. It's super super cheap. Uh, I think you could buy the uh, four by eight feet uh, panel for about twelve dollars, I believe. Um, it has been some time now, so I've added some decals here, as you can see. I'll share some clips of the actual tires themselves. Uh, they're super lightweight. The kids love actually rolling them around and actually they like, they enjoy being able to lift them up and actually mount them onto the vehicle itself. Uh, the axle is just a PVC pipe and I put a PVC fitting here that fits into the, the uh, inner diameter of that pipe. Uh, I also wanted to, if you guys can't tell by now, basically this is one of my um, golf cart push, uh, my push golf cart tires. Um, I, I basically got to a point where I was going to throw it away and I saved the tires and it came in handy for this particular project. They're also very lightweight, so uh, they came in really, really handy. Uh, the exhaust pipes themselves, they're all, they're, all it is is just painted PVC uh, with some uh, turn fittings there. Uh, the head and some of the engine block parts. Uh, they're all from spare Amazon boxes that I had lying around. Uh, I believe they were just basically uh, a square tubing box. Um, they were, it was a really long piece, so I basically cut it in threes, and I was able to make all these with it. Um, I did add like an angle feature here because I wanted this to always fit in this particular groove that kind of resembles an engine itself. The uh, the plenums that I have here, uh, they're just basically PVC fittings. Uh, these were a little bit pricey. I believe these were like $3 a piece or something. Uh, PVC has gone up uh, very recently. But again, uh, all this is is just a square tubing box. Um, I'm sure anything similar shape will do. And if not, I would say uh, <clears throat> cut pieces of cardboard four inches by four inches on each of the walls and then basically close the ends out make some holes where these PVC fittings will fit here. Uh, I will share some links on my channel or on the details of this particular um, video that will kind of go over all the PVC fittings that I had ended up uh, putting on there. <clears throat> also, uh, there has been some time. Uh, I wanted to make it just a little bit nicer. Uh, so I went ahead and bought contact paper, which I'll also have a link to on my channel or on, my, uh, on this particular video. And it'll basically go over the, um, what do you need to kind of make the very, very shiny, like metal, metal look to it. The feature where the uh, engine block parts go into, all this is, is just a box. I will show you the details here. As you can see here, uh, it was basically a spare box that we had. I didn't want to throw it away. And I made basically an um, uh, engine holder with it as well. Uh, the frame itself, uh, I will also have a clip on this video that shows, um, the process of basically how it, how it was built. Uh, it's very, very cheap PVC PEX pipe. Uh, I believe the 10 foot section is probably like $2 or something. Um, the axle itself, like I said earlier, it's just basically a PVC pipe. And that's really all there is to it. The rest is just some, mainly de some main uh, decals that I had from my son's bear, uh, bed. He's got a car, a car bed from the movie Cars. And uh, came with a lot of spare decals and went ahead and went to town on this. He loves that. It now officially looks like a full-blown race car.
uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please uh, hit subscribe and hit like. Uh, we'll have many more videos to come. Thank you.